Welcome to the finale recap of The Amazing Race. What a great season it was. All right, so there's four teams left at this point. Carolyn and Jennifer, Bates and Anthony, uh, Katie and Max, and Beth and Mona. So they find out that they have to take a train from Scotland to Belfast, Northern Ireland. And they are equalized at the ferry. They get Ford Fiestas and they have to drive to Peatland Park, which is basically a bunch of marshy bogs. Uh, it's a roadblock. It's bog snorkeling. They have to take this little small train to the bog, put on a wetsuit, and then do a cannonball into one part of the bog, jump out of that one, and then swim a lap in the other one in four minutes or less. Uh, Jennifer was the only one who really had a problem. Everybody else pretty much cruised through this. She did it wrong the first time. She got out like a second time and it was really muddy over there. And the second time she had to redo it, she wanted to give up. Her buddy talked her out of giving up and they pursued and they finished it. And yeah, the next part was find the thing with a ring. They messed up on that too. <laughs> Everybody else pretty much found it right away. It's this big beacon of hope, uh, like wire sculpture. Um, but the, some dude sent them to like this Stonehenge type thing. <laughs> it was really wrong. Uh, there, they found the next clue said detour. And it was either tray it or spray it. So tray it was the old dry dock to where they built the Titanic. There, they had a bunch of stuffy old dudes and dudettes uh, waiting to be served some food. They had to uh, serve up five courses of food, but it was a little tricksy, but we'll get there. And Spray It was the community art center. <laughs> they had to finish up some graffiti. The only team that chose that were Carolyn and Jennifer. Um, like I said, the menu was pretty confusing. They had a seating chart, and then they had the course menu. And everybody had some trouble with it, but nobody had as much trouble as Mona and Beth. Oh my goodness. They must have tried five or six or ten times even to serve the first course, or what they thought was the first course. No. They neglected to see the menu, and when the hockey dudes pointed it out to them, they were still in denial. So it's, they lost a lot of time uh, at the Titanic service, service. And like I said, everybody else had trouble too, especially with the color chartreuse. Nobody knew that the color chartreuse was green right away. So that when they finally figured that out, that was the end of that. All right, so the pit stop was at Ulster Hall, nice venue. There was some uh, Irish step dancers waiting there to greet them. Max and Katie came in first and they won a trip for two to the Dominican Republic, Punta Cana. And uh, Bates and Anthony came in second and Mona and Beth came in third. Poor Carolyn and Jennifer, they were eliminated. But you know what, they never gave up so they can be proud of themselves, they didn't, they didn't quit. So, next leg! This is the final leg, and they had to take a ferry across the Irish Sea to Liverpool, and then a train to London. And when they got there, they had to find the pub to order a pint to get the next clue. So, everyone was equalized at the ferry <laughs> to get to Liverpool. And then um, they found out, once they got to London, that they had to fly to Washington, D.C. That's where the race was going to be ending up, at the place where Martin Luther King Jr. gave his speech, which just so happens to be the Lincoln Memorial. So everybody was on the same flight. They were all equalized again. But when they got there, the clue said 1100 Pennsylvania Avenue. Well, when they got to the Lincoln Memorial, it said that. And Mona and Beth thought that was the White House address. It was not near there. Uh, once you got to the correct address, though, 1100 Pennsylvania Avenue, a Secret Service agent was waiting <laughs> to take you to get a picture with the president, which some of the people thought, oh, Barack Obama's going to be here? Well, he wasn't. It was just a cheap souvenir shop, uh, Photoshop of him shaking your hand. 
So, uh, like I said, Mona and Beth went to the wrong place. That took a little bit of time. Uh, once they got their pictures done, they had to find a marked car at the title base in there and knock three times on the window so that the guy inside would send down the window and give you a little briefcase. And they all found that pretty quickly once they made it there. That is, Mona and Beth were pretty far behind everybody else. They find out it's a roadblock. You have to find out the agent, you have to walk around the tidal basin and find the agent that has the briefcase so that you can exchange it with him. And the way that you do this is by saying your passphrase. And then if they don't, if they say, I can't help you, obviously they're not the right one. But there was quite a few of those. There, I think there was like 58, I think Phil said. So it took Max a really long time. He was the first one to get there, and Bates and Anthony busted right through that. But uh, Max and Katie were there a while, and Mona and Beth, they got there late, but they got it at the same time Max and Katie got theirs. So the next clue, go to the home of the Nationals, which is the baseball stadium. And the, all the mascots were there, so cool. <laughs> I love mascots. They're, they're probably my favorite part about going to a, a baseball game. And you had to dress up like the ball mascot and then be ziplined across the stadium and drop a ball so that your teammate can catch it. Which was really kind of hard to do in that baseball costume. Uh, Bates and Anthony, they were leading throughout most of the, well, through all of the second um, half of the episode, which was the last leg of the race. And then they were directed to Haynes Point which was a giant globe ball pit. And this was the final challenge. They had to dig through all of the globes and find the ones that had the countries highlighted on it that they had gone to in all of the legs of the race and put them in the correct order. Now, it seems like everybody on the race had taken pretty good notes, so this didn't really seem like a difficult thing. For me, it would because I'm horrible at geography, but I guess when you're spending... 8, 10, 12, 14 hours on a plane looking at magazines and maps that you know where these countries are by now. I mean, they've been on, they've been traveling for over a month. So they, they uh, commanded the second, well, the second part of the episode, Bates and Anthony, and they finished first. They, the clue told them to go to the home of the first president, which is Mount Vernon. They were a little bit nervous about it. They didn't want to go to the wrong place, but they, you know, went with it. They got there, and sure enough, they won. So congratulations, uh, Bates and Anthony. At least this didn't win. You know who I'm talking about. <laughs> She's such a sourpuss. Ugh. Oh. She, uh, I'm, I'm not even going to go there. Anyway, congratulations, Bates and Anthony. Everybody else finished. Uh, Max and Katie weren't that far behind, and Mona and Beth weren't that far behind either. Everyone finished, and it was a great season. And if you stuck around, thanks for watching. I appreciate it, and hopefully you'll be back for next season or check out some of the other shows that we do or daily vlogs. So thanks again, and until next time, much love.